to the Ainsel River, everyone. So, wow, we went on such an adventure last time across a variety of places. Obviously, first was uh, Furum Azular, or Crumbling Furum Azular. Uh, we didn't really get to go to the proper place, but we got a preview of it. It's up in the sky, it's surrounded by dragons, there are whirlwinds everywhere. Uh, we don't really know anything about it, though. Um, I think at first, I thought we were at the Dragon, it's called the Dragon Barracks, which is why I thought I knew where it was, but then it dawned on me. So we've not really heard mention of it besides the boss name of the Beastman from the cave in Limgrave uh, at the very beginning of the playthrough. So yeah, the, um, I don't know if we're gonna where we, where we can find more of those uh, magical sword keys, whatever they're called, imbued sword keys, because uh, we've not seen them needed anywhere else. Maybe we'll need them for other places, so maybe we will find lots more, kind of like the stone sword keys. But uh, my main problem was I'm, I'm unsure if we're kind of jumping the gun coming down here, but then I also thought that the boss was called Soldier of of Noxtella, so it's a bit weird because the the Eternal City sounds like there's only one of them, right? You can't, you can't surely, if it's called the Eternal City, you can't build like several of them, but one's called Nocron, and then this is the Soldier of Noxtella, so Noxtella must be a different place. I also realise we haven't found a map for this place. So I'm really unsure what to do. Um, we've got that big sentry who throws the rocks at us in the main area. I don't know how to deal with that. Um, so I'm tempted to jump out and I'm tempted to go back to Rey Lucaria and just try and just do everything in Rey Lucaria now. Um, and see where we're supposed to go next because if we're supposed to go to Kaelid next, like if that's where White Mass Vare sends us next, then cool, then we can maybe come back to Ainsel River if it does tie into Rani's, Rani and Blythe and Iggy's quest in some way. Because it is an eternal city, but it might not be anything to do with Nokron because Nokron must be over by Siofra because that's where we were looking, right? That's where Blythe was looking. That's the inaccessible place where we can see that crucible night. So it might, might not have anything to do with it, might have everything to do with it, but um, we're gonna go back to Ray Lucaria, but before we do that, I think that I've got another, some more death route. Yeah, so we're, uh, we're gonna go and give this to rank. See what happens. He's just been giving us incantations. I don't know what's going to happen when we give him uh, all the ones he wants. I imagine it's going to be a lot that we're going to need to give him. Uh oh. Uh -oh. There's something else. Yeah. But the death yet quenches. Bring more. Yeah. Oh. Ash of War, Beast's Roar. Okay, we've we've had that used on us, I think. Um by like the by the big trolls, I think they use something similar. Usable on all melee armaments. Beast's roar, unleash a beastly roar, rending the air as a forward traveling projectile, usable on all melee armaments. Okay, I actually really like upward cut, so I am going to stick with that. Right. Okay, now where we were up to, yeah, we just killed uh, Radigan's beast, the red haired beast. So, it's not the main academy gate, schoolhouse classroom, the debate parlor, South Lucari gate, uh, wasn't the... 
It wasn't the Church of the Cuckoo was the first one. Oh, no, no, no. We need to go and do, do the thing for patches. That's what we need to do before we go too far. I've remembered the plan. <laughs> I think we go to the Church of the Cuckoo first. And then we make a run for the elevator. But we need to ride it all the way to the bottom, I believe. Um, I don't think I'll be able to equip this because I think all the dragon talismans are really heavy. Yeah, see, that tips me over, man. That's points. So I'm, I'm literally, that's how close I am. I'm been riding to the weight limit. I really want to put this damage negation on. But there's, there's no way. Gonna have to level up and put a point in endurance to, to to use it. Unless I just change. If, if I could get rid of the torch or the claw mark seal, and then I could use it. I'm not too likely to use this unless we get poisoned or something. It's just I hate these sorcerers, but <laughs> I mean, we're losing like 50. We're losing 54 health. Buffs, it doubles pretty much our um, magic defense. So uh, we'll ditch the claw mark seal for the time being. I'm sure, we might live to regret that. Oh. Ah! I told you guys about Mexican waves. Uh, the marionettes are going to fire arrows at us as dogs. Can't quite remember where the um, water wheel is. I'm an animal lover, leave me alone. Oh, I got done with the uh, Achilles shot from Troy. <laughs> Achilles! Paris, the pa Paris shoots him in the Achilles in the Achilles tendon. That's why he's called Achilles, right? Oh, that was close. And then I think so. If, if Patches is to be believed, then there's supposed to be a marionette. Not a marionette. A uh, Iron Virgin. at the bottom that we need to let capture us. You need to pay attention here, Matthew. Oh man, when do we jump off? We could have just ridden it down. There she is. I mean, how stupid am I? Seriously, man. In fact, she said it was at the bottom. <sighs> Jesus, man. Hey, hey, hey. One Mexican wave I can let slide, but two? That's just greedy. Oh, hello. Can we make that jump? This is how we get these bastards. Okay, cool. Marionette soldier horses. I imagine they'll be quite fragile, to be honest. We really need to be able to use the knights, but I'm not at the stage where I'm upgrading my FP just yet. I will, definitely will. I just... I need to... Oh. Oh, dude! Oh, he's draining my FP. Oh, how many dogs did you bring?
And I, one thing I was intending to do was to actually use the Flask of Cerulean Tears. I also realised I've got a Sacred Tear. But I, I forgot about that at the start of the video. See, when you've got too much stuff to remember. I didn't lose that many runes. Hey, hey, hey! Oh. I think we can just ride it until we fall off. Let's go. So we've got to let this thing just capture us. That's where we got the knights, uh, the Karian knight armor. I wonder what's going to happen to us. I'd like to have a look around first. There are some items here. Oh god, I thought I was dead. Oh! No, you're supposed to grab me! All right, take me, I'm yours. Take me. Do we need to die? I guess so. Patch is lying. Okay. No way, we're at, this is Mount Gelmir, right? Good work, Patches. Cheers, mate. I mean, I'm not going to stay here that long. I'm going to go back to Ray Lucario, but... I don't, I don't know how we're going to... Are we going to have to platform our way across? Because this is mental. Oh, jeez, man. These are tight jump uh, uh, gaps here. Okay, so we've got lots of cages, lots of very pointy architecture. We've got chimneys that are being used, so that might be a sign of an NPC. We've got what look like lizards. So the only other thing we've seen connected to lava are the or fire are the butterflies, the slugs, and the uh, fire monks that we've seen on the the kind of northern side of Leonia. And, uh, what the hell are these things that are walking about? Lizards! Lizard men. Hey, well, it was the, uh... <laughs> oh! I'm sick of you vampires, man. How are they this tanky? Are they all dead? I did not think that through. Okay, there's a little cave. Yeah, nice one. Even the bats can take a, a hit. Yeah, they're worth a sizable amount of runes, to be fair. Well, we made it to the Volcano Manor. Uh, this is where Raya invited us to. I don't know what this cave is, though. Go 
Oh, it's a vampire cave. Hey up, batties. Oh, sorry, God. I didn't mean to say it like that. That's a homophobic phrase, I didn't mean it like that. I meant because they were bats. If it's instant death when you touch this lava, it definitely looks like it. It's very psychedelic lava. Don't know if you can get lava of other types. Now, do I really want to go down here before I've found a site of grace? Can I even get out? Ah, oh, sugar lumps. Oh, thank you. Skyrim climbing for the win. Yeah, let's just, let's just head to the actual, you know, non-vampire section for a minute. I don't even know what I picked up from, from over there. Okay. Now, I realise that previous Souls games aren't really a prediction of how things go all the time, but... There was an item that let you run through the lava in the first Dark Souls, right? Oh, maybe we have to go in the damn cave. I'm not so sure. That we can get across. No. I guess we're in going into the cave then. Ah. Ironic that we need a torch for a lava filled cave, but it's still pretty dark. Okay, vampires, lizards. We've had Ants, crabs, prawns or lobsters, whatever the hell they were, slugs, dragonflies, dragons, dragon kin, here are the slugs. Yeah, I prefer to two hand when they're when they're uh, like flat flat enemies like this. Wow, they do a lot of damage. Ah! Oh. Wow, I'm going to use so many flasks. I know I can block. Right, um, so hang on. We do have a fire ne damage negation one. That's not tipped us over, is it? No. Oh, we're going deeper and down, man. I should be using the stones, really. Okay, this looks more legit. Possibly for more vampires though. There's a site of grace, so I don't know. I think we're probably technically in a cave, so we might not be able to fast travel out. Something is like vomiting nearby. Oh god! No.
God, what the hell is that? Like a giant bolus. Those were some familiar Bloodborne sounds it was making there. I can't think what it is, but it was definitely something from Bloodborne. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Can I get back up? Yes. No. Kind of. Go and activate, activate the Sight of Grace, Matthew. Please. Oh, sorceress! Well, that's an Albanuric. That was an Albanuric, wasn't it? Definitely. He was on his knees, he was very pale, white hair. Yeah. Okay. So... I still can't leave because I think we're in a dungeon. Or maybe once I've rested. Doesn't look like there are any doors, so... we head down here. I could have gone down that way, I suppose. Um, how do we get out? Yeah, very high level. Nice. Oh god, I was lucky. Okay, we've got a, an entrance. I don't need to fight all of these things. Whew. Perhaps I should have rested. Oh! Not now! This is a boss room. I was about to say in case I could talk to Melina, but... Too late! Uh, we needed this for something. I think the pudding cave moss. Can't remember what, but we've got a lot of it now. Okay, so this isn't underground. This is just really far north. It's, it's really close by, actually. Uh, we've got skellies, I think. Oh dear me. Oh. Oh, two of them. Shit. How am I going to deal with this? Oh, they're pretty soft. might regret saying that. But... Uh. Running is not going to help.
Yeah, that's... I don't know. That's just... It's just one of those fights. It's just one of those typical nonsense fights because they put two enemies in the same area. Right, I can leave now. Um, I kind of want to... Uh, no, sorry. Uh, yeah, use the sacred tier. I will give one to the Cerulean Flask, but um, not just yet. I think we could do this. I feel like this might be one where we, that we that we maybe that we consider summoning for, just because it's a nonsense fight, right? It's not nonsense, but you know, it's just a, it's just a, a gank, isn't it? Two on one. <sighs> right. What can we do differently here? We could maybe buff our weapon. We don't need soap. We don't need throwing knives. We don't need fire bombs. We don't need the lantern. I agree, it's probably not too useful. Maybe some... I don't know. These things are made of iron. I don't know if they're an actual organic thing inside, so maybe we could inflict poison or rot or bleed. But uh, let's, we've got a lot of magic grease, so... I'm going to go for that. I'm not going to summon just yet, unless I get incredibly annoyed. be aggressive with this. Not at all, man. Not even slightly. All I can do is run in and out, poke and run away. This My, my weapon is going to do me no favours for this, though. I think we've popped the Wondrous Physic. Which will cover us if we get swallowed, I think. I'm not going to use the magic buff just because I don't know what they're weak to. I didn't get the oh I did, I did get the runes. There's no way, man. It's so chaotic. Uh, maybe there's something further in the back, something I can utilize. Maybe a summon. I don't know. This is this is just mental though. Now, these things are kind of annoying to fight on their own with with two of them. Right. Not gonna do this to death because it's I don't know I it just it feels similar to how it felt fighting the beast men just felt like two enemies who are pretty straightforward to deal with on their own put together to be an, as annoying as humanly possible okay oh it only counts for one hit all right I 
I think we target the... Is that a wooden one? I'll take it, man. I don't mind. Because it at least means we can't get hit by the other one. See? <laughs> Strategy. Ah, oh, fuming. Right, we're two handed. You know something like typical is going to happen, like I actually managed to kill one of them but then I'll get killed by the other one on its own. I don't think I picked up my runes on the last attempt. Gotta be full health in case I get grabbed again. No! Okay. one got me. I think I'm alive. Ah! I can't remember if I got the runes. No, I didn't. That's a bummer. Now it's on. Hey, no map. I have to choose between rolling or healing. Spin to win. I see how this goes. Got a heal. I've still got my wondrous physics. Where goes that?
Oh my god. Oh my god, did a dead end as well. No. Shh. Okay. I think it was a weapon. A trident. Maybe a, uh, a spear then, yeah. Inquisitor's Girondol. Instrument of torture used on nobles behind the curtains at the volcano manor of Mount Gelmir. Used on nobles, so yeah, interesting. Its numerous spikes pierce the flesh, then sing, then singe with the wounds with flame. The smell of burnt blood induces despair in the victim. A candlestick conceived by a thorough mind. We got a clean 10,000 runes from that. Not anything we can do much, too much with. Not sure where this is going to take us, because we're, we're moving away from Mount Gelmir going this direction, right? Uh, I didn't check at the other side of Grace if Melina was there, unfortunately. I'll, I'll, I'll jump back there when I can. But this is legit Mount Gelmir. We've got like magic standard bearers or sigils scattered everywhere here. Yeah, they look like standard bearers, you know, like like armies of carrying to battle. But that looks like Lindell. Oh. I guess we've left Mount Gelmir behind us, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Lindell is, is here where we're looking at and Mount Gelmir is behind us, possibly even further up than this, where the map turns black. Okay, I'm not going to jump the gun and, and try and go further. But we are in open world zone, in an open world part of the map here, so... Um, yeah, I'm guessing this is how you get here, through this tunnel. Okay, all right, let's go talk to Patches. Is he still there? Nice moves. Oh, that sucks. How am I gonna know where he's gone? Maybe he's left a note of some sort. He's not gonna show up on the map until Until we actually talk to him, so let's just check. He might have left a, a note or something. He's probably in Mount Gelmir, to be, to be fair. Patches, mate? Anything? Alright then. Is that one of those things that leads us to somewhere? I think I might have checked that one already, but... Where was he stood exactly? Was he... I think he was stood here. Or squatted here. Maybe he's spoken to Blackguard. Let's just have a quick word with Blackguard because they seem like the kind of people who might get along, right? <laughs> All right, mate. Want some more prawn, do you? No. Okay, nothing to tell us about patches then. Okay, I know, we, I know we've got like, not got lot, that long left in the video, but... Look, we got half, nearly half of it, but... 
So let's let's go back to Ray Lucaria. I mean, patches might show up here, after all. So it's not Church of the Cuckoo. It's not so it's debate parlor or the schoolhouse classroom. Can't remember which one it is to tell you the truth. Okay, interesting. So a few, yeah, this is where we want to be. So a few things to pick up on that they were torturing nobles in Mount Gelmir. Right? They were torturing nobles, so maybe from Rayo Lucaria, maybe from Lindell. Who knows? Um, let's make sure we're rocking the right damage negation here. I think that's fine. Right. So we explored the shortcut this side. That just leads above. We've got the stair set being the obvious place we want to be. Which I think we can get across if we jump over to those connecting sections. I don't really want to deal with another Iron Virgin. If they're still even still there. We've been up there, there's a warrior jar. So let's go up here next. Oh, I'm so I'm already sick of this. I'm much tankier now, you dirty sorceress. And all of you people work here. Well, at least they're feeding torrents. The crab's knocking everything over them. Is that Iron Virgin respawn? Oh. Glintstone wet blade. Cool. That'll mean we can. Oh, she does respawn. Forget you, lady. This will mean we can change the uh, to plus 18. Wow. That means we can change stuff to, uh, yeah, change the affinity. When applying an affinity using a physic or magic type ashes of war, an additional affinity of magic or frost can be chosen. Okay, so we can't do it for faith just yet. I didn't explore that room too thoroughly. Well, not that there's much to explore, but... Now, I am running around with a lot of runes, I realise. Is this openable? Absolutely not. Yeah, there's one behind me, of course. Don't you hit me with a book. Do I look like I can read? Okay, we've got a way down onto the roofs. It's going to take us... Okay, so that's where we found the crystal crab. So we don't need to drop down to that bit of that bit there, but we do need to check out the roofs. But let's go down here first. It looks like it unlocks a shortcut, actually. Which I hadn't even noticed, to tell you the truth. 
Okay, so we can run through here without dealing with all those sorcerers up top. Is there a reason why I'd want to run through here? Yeah, it's, it's definitely doesn't seem... Well, I don't want to speak too soon. I was going to say it doesn't seem as labyrinthian as Stormvale, but we're obviously just scratching the surface here. We've got some marionette soldiers up here. Hello there, friend. Did you drop anything? Yeah, there's a ladder. <laughs> I was about to say that that was uh, the boss room, but it's not because I'm thinking of the boss room from Kari the Caria Manor. Okay, so I don't think we can make that jump. So let's take the ladder. I'll go around the corner first at least. Bound to be someone here. Oh, I know where that is. Yeah, that's just before the boss room. Just before it, yeah. Three sorcerers in a night. Okay, getting a... I've, I'm remembering everything in a surprisingly good way. I just think there's just so much more pressure in these games to have like a running memory of so much stuff because you know the game doesn't want to do you any favors generally speaking or particularly when you're in like a, a closed off area like this it does you plenty of favors in the open world what fresh hell is this oh no that's a serious sorcery he's casting man What are you doing, mate? Did the other one fall off somehow, even though he's got wings? Crystal darts. Yeah, I did I did change to the magic what's it called? Spell Drake, sorry. Meteor bolts. Cool. So there's probably a way up there some, from somewhere, but... This place is massive. Okay, one way forwards it seems. I know there's no need for me to jump. Let's not make let's not let that force us into a hasty decision here.
Now we could jump down there. Well, let's look over here first. Uh, I need to be cognizant of possible invisible walls, I feel. Now that might lead back round to here. Oh, so it wouldn't matter which way we jump, jumped off then. These snipers. A lot of looking at the floor here. This place is so um, layered, you know, just in terms of how high it is. I think we should be able to get to that from this side as well, anyway. Okay, we've got a ladder. More marionette soldiers. Random visual glitch there. Right, let's check the little tower entrance. Oh, yes! I thought we weren't going to find one of those for ages. Oh, that is amazing. Now, there's the water wheel, so we can kind of see where we've been. Somewhat. Nice, we need some level 3s. Yeah. Before I can consider using another weapon, I need to be able to get it to the same level as this, really. I'd like to maybe try the Zweihander or the Claymore. Or I'd like to try that um, Halberd we got. But I need some more dexterity to try the uh, Zweihander. Oh right, this leads somewhere else. So maybe we need to jump across. Yeah, definitely. There's another crystal crab there. Where there are little crabs, there are a big there's usually a big crab. Invisible walls. Strange. Weird. Is there a ladder in here? Feels like we should be able to get up there. Okay, that's a strange one. Right, I guess we have to jump across to the circular roof. What do we do with the time? Not too bad. Yeah, I have been favouring putting stuff in fast forward as, to po as opposed to editing large amounts of stuff out, guys. But you have to let me know if you prefer just. <laughs> the stuff to be cut out. But, you know, by putting it in fast forward, if you genuinely want to see every attempt at stuff, it's still there. You can just slow the video down to get it back to normal speed. Which I know will won't exactly look right because it'll won't be in the same frame rate, but um I heard that. You think you're a, a gargoyle or something, mate? It's a marionette as well, I suppose. I guess that they're skeletons brought back to life. Now... Oh. Okay, we can drop onto that roof. Oh, God. Good job, Matt. We can jump in here that more preferably we can jump down there there's that crystal crab down there we've got loads of options here choice 
problem. It's choice. You think that's air you're breathing now? Fancy footwork. I'm gonna top my health up here just in case we get like ambushed like majorly. Yeah, that's too far down, obviously. Okay, let's head inside, see what the beams have for us. Okay. Okay, I think I know what we should do really first. I think we should drop down here first. No, I don't know. Maybe we can... No, I think we can maybe exit out of this building onto, onto that bit. I was thinking if I could get back onto that wooden thing, I'd be able to jump back across, but no. I'll keep this place in mind, though, for sure. Right, what have we got? So we've got one item up here. We've got chandeliers to potentially catch us. runes, I'll take it. We've got uh, an item on that chandelier. Nothing on this chandelier. Where was that sorcerer? Are we above the boss room? Perhaps. No, I don't think so. Now, what is our contingency after jumping off here, though? That doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah, it does. That sorcerer is going to get us. Academy! Oh, yes, we can give that sorcerer thops! Excellent, man. That's what that is, right? There's a knight over here. Really? Wasn't expecting two of them. These marionettes come from, they're static. Fair enough. Now, the interesting thing about these guys is they do have ginger beards, don't they? I wonder if they, they've been fashioned after Radigan. Shattering crystal. Sorcery of the mysterious crystal crystallians creates a mass of crystals, then shatters it in a forward burst. Charging enhances it. The Crystallians are inorganic beings, yet they live. They cleave, cleave close to the ideals of the primeval current, and as such, they are revered guests of the sorcerers. The primeval current. And the crystallians. Yeah, we've just pinged the hour mark. So hopefully we can find a site of grace before too long. 
Just trying to figure out where we are exactly. There's an ominous looking figure at the end of that hallway. Okay, is this where we started off? Are there two marionettes in here? Yeah, look, two marionettes. Yeah, this is the starting room. Uh, but, sorry, this is like the very first place we entered. It's the, uh, yeah, look, Church of the Cuckoo. Which is why there are cuckoo nights everywhere. And here's this entrance, beautiful. Glad I didn't drop down because we got all the extra items. There's this crystal crab here. I can't remember what they... Oh yeah, they had an item. Twin Sage Glintstone Crowns. Fair enough. Uh, why would we want to drop, jump over here? Currently unclear. There's no ladder to get on this. This was just a way of dropping down, I guess. For the uh, weak of heart who didn't want to <laughs> drop on the beams. All right, you look. Uh, this looks like one of the guys with a um, a rapier and a crossbow that were after the big troll. Uh, just yeah, they were on the stairway. Okay, I don't like that. That's madness. How have you got poise, mate? Makes me mad. Little bastard. Ah, oh, such a long way away. I hadn't noticed these pictures up here to be fair, so there's that at least. These just look like random sorcerers, but you never know. So what famous sorcerers do we actually know? We know of um, Celavis. We know of Selen. Sorcerer Thops is not renowned, so it can't be him in any of these pictures. We've got brothers there, so that's obviously what the twin heads symbolize. So that could very well be Sel Sorcerer Selen. That could be Celavis. They've all got masks on, so uh, I don't think it'd be Celavis though, just because he's a car he's a royal, I suppose. That one looks a bit more bespoke. Maybe that's Renala. She's got a much more distinct hat on. Alright guys, we're going to have to leave the episode there. We're going to have to go and rescue our runes in the next video. God, that is annoying. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. And just remember, everyone, never trust an on crate. See you next time.